Now today I thought I'd do something based off of a request from somebody who was playing a few rounds with me the other day. I jumped into a game online and somebody asked me what is the most used tactic that I like to utilize in Battlefield Hardline to get the maximum amount of kills and just do overall the very best I can in the game. And this was a really interesting question because I found it quite challenging to give him a decent response. Now I kind of consider tactics a mixture of just how good you are at the game and a composition of your general thinking and how you react to situations but today I thought I'd bring you my most used tactic in the game it's like something I can generally put together as a class or loadout for you guys to try out and see how you do with it and also offer you some ideas as to how you can do it now I'm gonna have to do a quick apology because it looks like this is the only video I'm gonna have all week as I'm off to EGX in Birmingham to play some video games and do some stuff and meet some other battlefield youtubers and it should be a good time but unfortunately that means sacrificing a few videos and it happens to have coincided with when Rainbow Six Siege beta comes available to the public now i have access to that already i'm just not allowed to post footage and unfortunately that means i'm probably not going to be able to put a rainbow six siege video up until monday the 28th i'd like to say of september so look out for that then and i'm also kind of busy right now with my second channel which is as many of you will see on the side of my main channel page and in the description below as well if you want to check it out and i'm actually working on a FIFA channel now and I know this is something a little bit different and I know it's something that a lot of you would just be like why are you doing FIFA but I kind of wanted to do something beyond first person shooters only and I thought the only way to do that without ruining the viewership I have here is to make a second channel and at the moment I'm working on a really really cool cinematic called The Trigger and I think you guys are going to absolutely adore this thing. It's probably going to be one of the best projects I've worked on. So make sure you check out that channel and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you there when my first ever cinematic video launches roughly sometime in October. This thing's going to take a while to edit and record. So let's get back to the battlefield, specifically Battlefield Hardline and what you guys can do to up your game and improve how you play. And if you're like me, you're going to be one of those players that kind of relies on his comfort zone to perform his best. And my comfort zone, i found, has always lied with gas grenades. Now, gas grenades are probably the most effective tool, in my opinion, as a gadget to have in Battlefield Hardline, without a doubt. And there's just so many uses of a gas grenade that many people don't actually think about or try and utilize, which, in my opinion, make them the most valuable asset in the world. So what I tend to do is run in with a comfortable weapon that I'm happy with using and throw on in a gas mask and gas grenade setup with of course as many grenades as physically possible and do whatever I can to make it work. But I like to split it down into five ways that I use the gas grenade. Five specific ways that I use this thing to make sure I get the most amount of kills. And the most amount of kills obviously comes from being the most effective player. Now the first one is called objective bombing. And this is a very simple tactic. You just throw gas grenades on the objective this is really helpful in game modes like blood money even heist as well and it's something very simplistic to do just throw one on there you're going to know by the hit marker traces whether or not somebody's in the vicinity of the objective and you'll have the opportunity to take them out without actually alerting your presence before he gets to the objective itself and that way you're also actually safeguarding the objective if you've planted a bomb on it per se it's a very simple tactic there's not much to it just throw a gas grenade on the objective sit within a relatively close distance distance but not directly on it and then you'll know when you can turn the corner and make those kills that count. My second tactic is called perimeter defense and I like to use this whenever I'm entering an unfamiliar area be it a building, an objective or just something that I'm wary of or I'm kind of aware that there's probably going to be an enemy presence here and what I do is I like to get down into a single spot like per se the corner of a room. And then what I'll do is I'll throw gas grenades out on all the entry points and just wait and see if I can get anybody to get a hit marker on it and therefore I will know that there will be somebody at one of those entry points. And this is really helpful because what it will do, it will allow you to set up in a position which makes it viable for you to get kills, makes it viable for you to have a good line of sight on the objective or perhaps an area of high contention. And then that way you can also tell if somebody's coming in to try and get you at the same time. I would strongly recommend this tactic if you're running the assault class because I find with a sort of mid to long range assault rifle getting set up
up in a good position and then staying there can be quite challenging to do. By using the gas grenades for a limited amount of periods and perhaps reloading as well, you will have the opportunity to keep your area secure and keep on shooting at the objective or area that you happen to be aiming for. My third one is called polling, and I like to use this kind of in a very nonsensical way. It's just like my kind of shot in the dark, so to speak. And polling basically is just me throwing a gas grenade into any general direction or area I think there's going to be enemies, and kind of hoping I get a hit marker. So say there's a door, which looks very precarious, and I don't want to go around the corner because I think, fuck it, there might be somebody right at the end of that hallway that's just going to light me up the minute I turn. Now, what I'd like to do is just throw a gas grenade through that, and if I get the hit markers, then I'll know that there's somebody there, then I know I need to be wary. If I don't get the hit markers, I can walk through with a relative amount of security about my position. Now, by using polling, you can actually throw it into different angles and different doorways and corners. So say I'm entering a room which has two corners and both of them look pretty odd and precarious. I can throw one gas grenade to hit the left corner and then that way I know there was either somebody there or nobody there and then I can use my gun to check the right corner as well. Now, obviously you have to be wary that some players might be running gas masks themselves, but ultimately it's not that popular to use Use these days and I think you'll work out just fine using gas grenades to find out if it's good to turn a corner or not. My next one is of course self-defense. This is a very basic one and sometimes you know shit goes down on Hardline. You know it starts popping off, you want to stay alive but at the same time you want to get some kills and you're just you're in this little spot and you don't want to move because you just know you're gonna get shot in the head. It's it's like the worst thing in the world and what I literally just do is throw gas grenades on the floor where I'm standing. It's the only way to keep my general vicinity safe and that way I know I'm not gonna get shot by other people or at least if I do get shot I will have some kind of opportunity to take them down before they take Take me down and that is kind of what I believe matters the most when it comes to 1v1 gunfights on Battlefield Hardline. And my final tactic is what I like to call the Revive Ender. And the Revive Ender is like the worst thing in the world that you could do to a human and that sounds a bit harsh but it's probably true. Now, you kill a lot of players, right? You know, you're taking a few out, but you know there's a few more in the area. So, I've dropped two guys. I know they've got a friend somewhere hidden around the corner, and he's probably running medic. So, I throw a gas grenade on top of their bodies, and the minute he revives them, presuming it's not a 100 revive, they will die instantaneously. And the guys who do get up and do have a reasonable amount of health because they've been revived to a, a decent standard, I still know that they've gotten up and I have the opportunity to take them down again. Now, I know you're kind of banking on people doing shit revives, but let's be honest, it's Battlefield, and shit revives is like the cornerstone of the worst team play in the world, which happens to happen a lot, specifically on sort of like Conquest and Team Deathmatch where shit goes down. It's definitely a douchey but great tactic to use. I'm not going to lie, there are some bits of footage which probably didn't make this video today where I believe I got like a double or a triple kill just from having a gas grenade on bodies that got revived. It's really harsh, kind of a dick move, but definitely worth it. So guys, it's been me, Lachlan. Like I mentioned, sorry for the fact that this is probably going to be the only video, but if you happen to be at EGX, make sure you say hello, and I'll probably be running around the Star Wars Battlefront booth, the Siege booth. I'll be doing absolutely everything there. It's a great four days, and I'm going to be there for a good amount of time. As always, lads, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon in the next video.